The Austrian Foreign Ministry reiterated on Sunday that Russia's aggression is halting the Black Sea's grain exports and threatening global food crisis. Austrian Foreign Minister Alexander Schollenberg made a statement at a joint news conference with his Egyptian counterpart Sameh Shukri during his visit to Cairo. Meanwhile, Minister Shukri called for a safe exit for both Ukrainian and Russian ships carrying grain. He also described the current situation in Libya as an indication of dissatisfaction of the Libyan people. Previously on last Friday, demonstrators broke into the building that houses the Eastern Libya-based parliament in Tobruk, adding fire to parts of it amid protests over months of failed efforts to set the divided country on a path towards elections. beneficial to both sides and uh, one that I think can be characterized as a new area of cooperation and advancing the level of uh, coordination uh, that hopefully we can uh, should do. Uh, Meanwhile, the tourist flow in one of the most popular summer destinations, the Crimean Peninsula, has plummeted due to the war in Ukraine. Hoteliers have not seen such disastrous season and the owners of restaurants and amusement facilities are expecting heavy losses. According to the Crimean branch of the Russian Union of Travel Industry, tourist numbers are down at least 50 percent, which is a big blow to the whole peninsular economy. At this time of the year, occupancy rates are normally 80 percent to 90 percent. This year, the figure varies from 30 percent to 70 percent, depending on the region. Flights were suspended when Russia sent its military into Ukraine, including from its naval base in Sevastopol. According to Sevastopol's tourism department, up to 30% of tourists used to come by air to Crimea, with only 5% by train.